Hey hello guys so welcome to this video in this video we will talk about ec2 global view which is a new and latest option just launched in i believe in uh, jan 22 itself okay so basically there used to be a issue earlier that uh, we not used to we was not used to be able to see all the regions details into one console okay like if you see the other uh, other cloud like uh, Azure, you can find all the resources at one place okay, for all the regions. But here, what used to be happen that if there is a region, we can see the resources, the instances of that particular region if you go to that dashboard, right? So right now, if I check this dashboard, it is showing instances running zero, elastic IP is zero, but it is for this particular region, okay? But there are more than 17 regions right uh, in aws where aws is providing their services so now what used to happen that if you created some server into some other region it used to be lost sometime and you don't remember that the only thing was that you can go to the billing dashboard and can check or you can run cli functions to overcome this issue uh, now they come up with ec2 global view where you can see what is the status of all of your servers okay in how many regions you have servers you can see at one place now if you see i clicked on ec2 global view and here you can find all the region details right like 17 region is enabled so you can enable and disable the region itself uh, you can see one instance is in one region. So I have only one instance in one particular region. 21 VPC in 17 regions. Three volumes in two regions. There are total 48 security groups, right? And 65 subnets are using. So like this, you can find out. Okay, so this is very useful for you for you uh, if you want to see all the servers into one particular user and this is resolving one of the primary issue okay so thank you for watching this video and if you have any question please write into comment section otherwise feel free to move to next video thank you